the rest will retreat. Yasser and my mouth said someone in there sounds like someone's in trouble. Ah! I think she's gonna need some backup. She's okay. Spike is still intact. Rig's still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this rig of yours, it's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from... One lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well, like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. 
It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew, one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. Other days, I miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly, and I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Be careful now, better get climbing. credit lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Make a better reception if I'm next to it. Seem to get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Your rig is picking up an old world message. 
A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during... A, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you moved the rig now? I'd try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... Then let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller the better. And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Hmm. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind near a place I'm uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Soga. And when you find it, Aloy, I'd be eager to hear what it is. I see you, champion. Sit, please. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. Be careful if you're traveling southwest, champion. Rebels have set up camp in the hills. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to dig your grave. Thanks for the warning. Sounds you can like trust it. Rebels. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silka's message. Just gotta look for a path. Wait, wait, 
or sneak past. Machine's weak to purge water. Higher to try and pinpoint some of the signal. Get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. Okay, now to pick up the signal. Where's the best spot? We should try to find a good spot to pick up Soda's message. Getting stronger. My focus almost has where it's coming from. Time to pay that Tanox Tower a visit. Rain's finally stopping.
Let's drive together. Oh. That tower should help me pinpoint Silda's signal. Climb up to look for Silga's signal. Pinpoint that signal. Just a little higher. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silda's signal. Stark 1 Mark 2 to Enduring Victory Reno. Supply drop beacon echo. Pull. And pray you get this safely. I left a note for you inside. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. Holding up. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zalka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me, but the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strict water rations. No one can be spared. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ashblood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of Ashblood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on.
agility, and protection. I try to combine both. Leave you in the dust. Picking with the signal that Silka found. I'll need to clear out the machines before I can look for the source. <laughs> Not much point to using acid here.
scan for that signal now. See if I can locate the source. There you are. Now, how to get to you? I should take a closer look. It's promising. Right, going to the water. inside. She'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Stop coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their Past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. I should be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. 
I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far. Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. Turned out well. Can't wait to try it. This must be the village Zoka was talking about. It looks like the whole place flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. Do you have any fire ammo on me? Ooh. The water feels thick. Polluted. These machines got us trapped up here. Drivers on that broken we lost our shower. weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight. 
I'll take care of him. Be safe if it's not now. We're coming down. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. We'll head for the shore on the other side to regroup. Thanks again. Hey, you! Outlander! Up here! We've got wounded up here. Need an easy way down. And uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane can help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. Blocking the base of the crane. Maybe I can clear it if I pull that thing. I moved a little, but it must be stuck on something else. My focus can help me search. Good. Can't use the pole caster on that.
Focus might find something I missed. here. My focus can show me something. There's fire gleam on those rocks. Igniting it should clear the way for the in place. No, I'm alone. Get to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Climb up and take a look. If I detach those cables, the arms should drop the rest of the way. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. And by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? We'll manage. I think I saw Natiko in an overlook there. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. 
When the mudslide hit, I saw some of the others running towards the metal towers. You might want to check there. Thanks. I'll look into it. of this. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Blood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken room next to it. Doesn't look like there's a way to swim into. That works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. Whoa, what? Only way out! I'd better check on the survivors first. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? There are more who made it. They're safe now. Thank the Ten. Can you make it to the shore from here? If you find us a way out, we'll make it. Okay. 
Sit tight for now. You do it. Okay, you should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay, I think that's it for survivors. They said they regroup with someone named Matika on the shore. I should check in with her. We have to search. We will rest there are now. More survivors on that overlook. I'm Natika. And I believe I have you to thank for saving these soldiers. Aloy, they mentioned there was a mudslide? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. We're lucky so many survived, but we're still missing one. Kentok, my squad leader, and the one in command of this place. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakht are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water's poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers close to the lookout to show.
must be the gouge. It's like an old mine. A lot of debris back in the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there during the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? Well, not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey! I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fireclaw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from.
Okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire to break open that wall. This should flood. said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, hey, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? The rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. What matters is their prisoner Nakala. Maybe she knows where Kavo's squad went. Okay, let's head in then.
no point using fire against that. Reckless. I need to get rid of their leader. Maybe then the rest will retreat. You see that too? I'll stay here while you stay. That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. Strange. Planks of wood with nothing on what top of it. What is it? I think there might be something under here. Take my hand, Nakala. There you go. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplin? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. <sighs> How'd you end up here? We're looking for Cavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. 
My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cabo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cabo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet! We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. my stash when I need it. the start of lowland territory. We could resupply before moving on. Feeling exposed out here. By the cover of the jungle. Should be waiting for me in there. May your enemies fall. Good day, champion. May your enemies fall. Karo's champion. Careful now. You heard that third time. Left right the gal. Did the wild stick you out of the vision's words? An honor, champion. I'm Nako. Have you been out to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? Don't think I have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. The valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months, Commander's orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast, and the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. 
They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers? Sounds like a lot, even for a marshal. I'd go by myself, if I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? South of here, towards the coast. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It marks the start of the valley. And if you see my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. Strange lights off the coast. Whatever it is, it can't be good. I should look into it when I'm out that way. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Not a chance. He's a traitor. Dekka, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan, your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaro's support from the Lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels, I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. 
friends of Cabo's. We're going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. Trouble here! Get back! waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Cabo has some explained. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. <laughs> Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. Should know what to do with this. Up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others <laughs> won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone. No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls. I saw something shit. If that thing runs through Falls Edge, the village stands no chance. Then we stop them. Right here. Any strange activity? Lead, Aloy. Now's the time to call Nothing it out. will stand in our way now. Grab your gear. We march on Falls Edge.
we did it. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess... <laughs> I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Dekka know what happened. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo.
shock ammo could help. I'll roll her back. Just like Carla said. Gonna have to take it down. I should get back to Kala. Head over the parts. Blade be bright. My blade fights with you. We need to work on your arm action. Thought I'd be great you can to rest your feet and blade here. May your armor hold you. She's clear to enter. For the ballista? I've got the parts you need for the ballista. Excellent. We'll get it fixed up right away, and then the arena will be ready. You're welcome to fight any time. How does it work? Simply speak to me, and I'll arrange a challenge for you. And any medals you win from fighting, you can exchange with me for some of the tribe's very best equipment. Not just from the arena, but also medals won at hunting grounds. After upgrading your gear, I think you'll come to favor me over Kala. I'm here to help train our squads. It's not a popularity contest. Good thing for you. I'll take my leave then. Come talk to me if you win or if you have soldiers tags to turn in. Well then, if you'd like to fight in the arena now, we can set it up in no time. And their secrets died with them. I'll come back later. Whenever you want. Don't think I've forgotten about it. That's her. Strongest of the outlet. Aloy, need to turn in some tags or trade some medals? Maybe you won some from hunting grounds. Or the arena. I found some of the tags you mentioned before. Good. The squad mates and families of the deceased will be grateful. Here, a small reward for your efforts. But don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Good luck on the hunt. Well, I guess I should go. Safe travels. That tells us to fight. 
Never have too many of those. It is an honor to witness this. How's our supply of ash blood? Glory. This is where we'll make our stand. I still can't believe the storm blacked out. We always let every blade win honor. Your blade is to be Good day, respected, Outlander. Outlander. Everything's sticking. Ugh, damn this heat. 